guys, it's Marie. Welcome back to Living Dunkle Life. So yesterday I showed you guys me setting the incubator up and it's come to temperature. I'm having issues with my humidity. If you guys can see down here, um, I have no water in it and it's running at 48 and I got the lid cracked. But I can do 48, we're just gonna have to watch it. I told you I was gonna get a hydrometer, but I forgot. So maybe tomorrow I'll end up getting one and we'll see what the true reading is. So today we are gonna set our eggs. Move this lid over here. Okay. Uh, now I don't have an egg turner. I like to do it by hand. Maybe someday invest in one. But for now, I'm going to show you guys down here what I'm going to be doing. So basically, just draw an X on one side of your egg and O on the other. That way you know what side you've turned and what side you haven't turned. And I like to turn them about three times a day. You could do it five, but you need to do odd numbers because... You don't want them resting for the night on the same side. So this egg is from my, my little girl. I think she is a silver spangled ham. I don't remember what she's called, but she's tiny and her egg is tiny. So this guy probably will hatch sooner than these other guys. Oh, we'll have to see. It'll be kind of interesting to see if they actually hatch. Um, she's more bantam size, but she's not a bantam. So we'll see what goes. She's really young though. She's only about, well, I think about nine months. So we'll see how these go. I don't have super high hopes for these eggs just because my chickens are on the older side. But the rooster's nice and young, so we'll see what happens if we're going to have babies or not. And I will definitely take you guys along for the ride. So as you see, we're just, oh, sorry. We're just setting them in here, putting my O side up. Um, and then about day seven, six or seven, we will candle them and see if we have any fertile eggs in here. Kind of see what's going on with them. They should take about 21 days to hatch. And I said my little one, she might hatch sooner because I know bantams hatch much sooner. Maybe like they hatch around day 18 or so, which that'll be interesting because that's when we're going to put them in lockdown. So we'll see how this all goes. But some of these are the bullet shape. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard about the bullet versus pull it. So we'll see, we can see if that's true. I have a couple of these bullet eggs. We can see if they're gonna turn out to be roosters or not. Or if that's just an old wives tale. All right, so I got them all set in here. And we're gonna put this lid back on here. Now I've been cracking it because like I said, it's just running. I don't have any water in here. I just, I'm not understanding if it's the weather that's going on. You can see here, we've got 48%. Of course my temperature's coming back up. I'm running it. Usually you run it about, sorry, usually you run it about 99.5. Um, however, I'm running it a little higher because I said when you don't use the egg turner, it sits down further down. So a degree or so higher, we'll see. I'm running it about 100.5, 0 0.7, something around there. Trying to keep my humidity 40, to, I'd like it around 45. It's at 48. So uh, we'll check back on it tomorrow and I'll let you guys see what's going on. Hi guys, it's Marie. Welcome to Living Dunkle Life. So today is day 14 of my incubating eggs. I'm sure if you're watching my, you've watched my other video, I'm doing the chicken challenge and she's at a little bit different rate. Sorry for the loudness, my AC's running, but this is threw them in because I can make it kind of dark during the day. Um, I wanted to show you guys me candling some of the eggs. But first of all, if you'll see here, um, we have, I'm gonna lay a little, hold on, I'm gonna lay a little rag right here. We have three eggs. I just went and got, um, I just went and got, the, gave the chicken some fresh water and kicked my hen off for a little bit because it's hot and I just wanna run around, get some water and, and stuff. Um, she had kicked three eggs out. So I want to candle those, and if they look good, I'm going to put them with mine. They might be a little off, and I know sometimes that's controversial, but I don't think they're that off, and we'll kind of be able to see their development. So I'm going to turn this light off, and hopefully, I'm going to put you guys, I guess, over here. I'm hoping, oops, sorry. Hoping you guys will be able to see. I kind of hung a towel here, and it's not quite as dark as I would like it, and I'm hoping you guys can see. But we're going to go ahead, and I like to candle from... Oh, okay, so you can see. I'm hoping you guys can see. This one's, it has veins. I can see the eye, and it's kind of jiggly. So this one might have died. 
um, you can see it's kind of jiggly and usually they're not like that but it does have some good veining and I don't see a blood ring so I am probably going to go ahead and put this guy in with mine these ones are really hard to tell so all I'm looking for to see is if I have a good air sac which I do you can see it hopefully see the air sac there's a dark I'm sorry I'm trying to really get there's a dark spot in there these guys are really hard to tell these are for my Easter eggers um, so I'm gonna put it in I, I, I feel like it's got enough life to tell so here's a third one god they're so dark it does have a good air sac I don't know if you guys can I'm trying to show you and see that um, sometimes if you go through the side it's just really hard to tell on these so um, because it does have a good air sac I'm gonna go ahead and put it in too um, turn the light on here so you can see me uh, so basically day 18 which will be Wednesday they'll go in lockdown I might do day 17 we'll just see because like I said these are my daughter girl I think they call her a silver spangle hamburger I'll have to look it up her I just I don't remember but they're so small they're almost bantam size and some of my other eggs I mean you look this guy is not even though this is an Easter egg it's really not that big and smaller eggs tend to hatch a little bit early so Tuesday I'm thinking I might go into lockdown we'll do a final candling and see if everyone looks good and anyone does it will pitch but I want to real quick have you stay here for a moment I'm gonna run and go grab a couple of my eggs and we're gonna candle them and so you can kind of see the thing I'm gonna put these guys in because you don't want them out too long and I don't know how long they've been out so I'm gonna throw them in and I'm gonna mark them just so I know which ones are hers um, so hold on one moment and I'll be back with some of that. Okay guys, I'm back. I want to do this quickly because I really don't want these guys out of the the nest too long. I mean, in the wild or on her own, she will get off sometimes. So they will cool a little bit, but I'm going to do this real quick. Explain a little bit about it and then we'll see what we have. This is, like I said, day 14 on these guys. So I'm going to set you here. Go ahead and shut the slide off so you can see. Um, so this is an Easter egg. And like I said, these guys are really hard to see, but you can see... Especially at day 14, they're basically, I'm hoping that you can kind of see that air sac and the chick is just filling up the egg. So that one looks really good. Um, these white ones are a lot easier to see. I mean, you might even be able to see them move in there. I mean, I can see wing and stuff. This one, you can see that. Definitely good. Uh, so I'm sorry, the orange ones are from my Buffalo Fintons. This one is an Easter egg, or it's a green one. Um, let me see if I can get you a good. Hold on a sec, guys. Let me. Okay, let me find a good. I can't even find a good angle on this guy. I mean, you can see the air sac, I guess, but you're not. Their eggs are just too dark. I'm not gonna see much on the green eggs. I got a couple of my little white ones. So I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but. These guys are moving in there. They've got good air sac. They're very much developed. And the last one we're going to do, it's got some good veining. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and put these guys, turn the line on so you see me, put these guys back. And then again in day 17 or day 18, I'll show you one final candling of a few of them. We're going to put them in lockdown. And then the next time I pick you up, hopefully have babies.